The pay GST has increased in the state Tripura. In the year 2016 and 17, the GST collection was rupees 8.21 crore. In the year 2022 and 23, the GST collection has increased up to 982.50 crore. The Central Finance Minister Nirmala Sitharaman gave this information on Friday at Netaji Chomini on the occasion of inaugurating new customs and GST Bhavan. The Central Finance Minister Nirmala Sitharaman has arrived in the state trip on Friday afternoon for two days. Chief Minister Dr. Manik Saha and State BJP President Rajiv Bhattacharji went at the MBB airport and welcomed her. On Friday, the Central Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman has inaugurated the newly established customs and GST building at Netaji Chomini area by cutting a ribbon. Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman commenced the program by lighting a candle. The GST department executives will be able to do their services without any interference through this newly established GST bhavan. The pay GST has increased in the state Tripura. In the year 2016-17, the GST collection was rupees 8.21 crore. In the year 2022-23, the GST collection has increased up to 982.50 crore, says the finance minister Sitaraman. And that is true of 2016-17, the year 17, the year before GST was introduced. Whereas in 22-23, the year which ended as of March 23, Tripura collects 982.50 crores from interstate trade. Where is 4.21 crores and where is 9. Point, uh, sorry, 982, 4.21 versus 982.5 crores. 50 crores, 982.50 crores within a matter of 5 to 6 years. So post GST, the collection and the revenue generation for Tripura has been extremely favorable. Where it was single digit, it's gone to three digits in crores. So interstate trade has now been greatly facilitated and therefore I think uh, it is uh, showing on how GST has actually meant good for the northeast states. And Tripura's number is almost enviable. Of course, Tripura needs a lot more resources. But the fact that within six years, under the same head, you're getting so much more proves the need for the greater coordination through the GST. And of course, with GST coming in, more businesses have come into the system. However, with an office like this, with a power like this, and which has kept the citizen in mind, I would think it's necessary for us, for us all, to do an outreach along with the state government so that more small businesses understand that they stand to benefit by enrolling in the GST. By staying away, many of the benefits which accrue to the GST registered companies are not available if they stay out. Even if they are just composition, uh, those who opted for the composition system, they still derive a lot of benefits. Large companies do not want to buy or procure goods or service from non-GST institutions. It will do well for more and more institutions to come into the GST fold for which now, now that you have a building in your hand, it will be important to call the trades, small associations or big associations and interact with them to say through their members get more people enrolled. Revenue Department Secretary Sanjay Malhotra, CBIC Chairman Vivek Johari, Journal Chairman Alok Shukla, CPWD Chief Engineer Rajesh Bhagwani, and other executives of the state and the central were present at the program. Reported by Krishnanu from Agatala, Chinikhorang.